Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name's Dave and today we're going to be doing some work with the UHI Mini Digger. Now we've seen this digger in a couple of previous videos. I did an introductory video and then we used it for putting in some new hedging plants with the auger drive on the front. I've had it now up to about seven months and it still only has about 13 hours on the clock. We've just finished doing a job this morning putting some services in in heavy clay just using the 200 mil bucket and I've just finished pressure washing it so it's all nice and sparkly clean and I've actually just given it a bit of a spray down with some WD-40 and I find this is a really good method to keep any surface rust off it just spray all the external parts with a light spray of WD-40 and it keeps it nice and rust free but today we are not talking about digging or using the digging bucket we're actually talking about pallet forks <laughs> So if you've watched our previous video which was called Mini Diggers Showroom Visit and I was with Alex and we were talking about the different attachments that were available for the Mini Diggers and we were mainly talking about things like different size buckets and mud buckets and auger drives that fit on the Mini Diggers but I spotted these on the rack and I asked him about them and he offered to let me take them away and to do this video and to give them a bit of a test so that's what we're going to do today is talk about these pallet forks. If you go onto Google and do a search on images for mini digger pallet forks, it'll usually give you an image of a more complex type unit, if that's the right word, where you've got the headboard at the back and a supporting rail which hold the forks. And these, when I saw them, I thought, well, wow, these are a really simple type design. So let's have a closer look at what they are. So the centre part that attaches on the quick attach is just this box channel and that's 50 millimetres across here and the width of the actual steel used is 4 millimetres. The pin size is 25 millimetres so that will really only fit the smaller diggers and in UHI's case it's the 1 tonne machine and the 1.2. I think or from what I've read is the pin size goes up according to the size of digger so this 25 mil pin will really only suit the smaller diggers so it's supported you can see that it's gusseted around there the welds look to be quite good but there's no other support for it so basically all of the force of when you're lifting up will be on this square hollow section steel there. So the arms are the same material. A slightly bigger box section in the middle. Again it's got gusseting and support that go around it to give it that extra strength. And all they do is basically slide on the ends and we'll put those on in a minute. So it's a really, really simple design. So I guess the next step is to put them on and actually see if it works. So I'm just gonna take this 200 mil bucket off and if you haven't seen the UHI quick attach system, I think it's probably pretty generic with a lot of the Chinese mini diggers. So you've got a bolt here and a pin, which I'll just take out and then really some people use a, an impact driver I usually just keep this loose enough so I can adjust it by hand and I just usually wind it out and this particular bucket's only quite light so I'm actually doing this in the air whereas if it was a heavier mud bucket I would probably do it on the ground 
So you just wind this out and then the whole bucket will come off. Like that. So this is just a bit of a closer look at the quick attach system. So you've got this bracket that's fixed that goes around one of the pins and then as you wind this out it just basically brings the other mount out to engage the second pin and that's your quick attach. Quite a simple system but it seems to work quite well. Okay the bucket's removed from the quick attach. I'll go over and get the center piece of the pallet 4 kit and put it on the quick attach. Now I can't see any particular way it has to go on but I'm thinking this section has the bracing at the top which I would imagine should face the front so I'll put it on that way put the back pin on swing it up and then just wind our pin back out Get it about hand tight, just so it locks in, that's not going to come off, and just line it up so I can get my pin back in the hole. Right, now I'll go and get one of the arms and just simply slide it onto this centre section. So it's a very quick process, an easy process to put them on. Once the centre section's on, it's just a matter of sliding these forks on. And one of them is a bit looser than the other side. The other side is quite tight. And obviously you can adjust the length anywhere along this bar according to what you want to pick up. But what I can see is there's no fixing system to stop this moving or sliding so this can actually move along and I was thinking whether you could actually use something like a, a tractor pin or another pin that you could actually put through here just as a extra security measure to know that this wasn't going to actually slide off whether it was a more substantial pin like that or just a longer version of a tractor pin would actually work to go in there but anyway, that's what they are. I also notice on the front of the forks or the tube is that it's a flat square section on the front. And if you look at a lot of pallet forks, these are actually inclined back or they're cut, which I guess that gives you better approach to fit under a pallet that it's not gonna actually get caught. It's just maybe a small thing. Um, but I just did notice that these are quite flat at the front and whether that would pose any problems when you're trying to go under a pallet, I don't know. But how simple is it? I can't think of anything actually that would be a lot simpler than that. So I guess the next step is to find a pallet or something to lift and give it a try. Before I lift anything really heavy, what I think I'll do is practice on this empty pallet just to get used to how the controls work on the mini digger. So let's give that a go. Okay, so I'm pretty well lined up, so I think I can almost go sort of straight in. And one thing I can see straight away is because of the tracks on the excavator aren't dead smooth that you get this slight front to back sort of wobble and that gets accentuated on the front forks so you can actually see them bouncing a little bit but let's keep going okay so I'm under the pallet pretty well and I've been thinking about what's going to happen with the arm and I've got the boom arm at the back and I've got the stick at the front 
and those aren't going to come up equally so I'm pretty sure when I lift the boom arm up that the pallet's not going to stay level so let's have a look at that so I'm just going to do the right hand lever bring in the boom straight back yeah so what you can see is that the pallet comes up at an angle and if there was anything on that pallet it would now be on the ground so that's not going to work so I think what we need to do is as well as come up we need to apply a bit of a curl to the front so again with the right hand lever here as well as coming back we're going to slightly curl it to the left to try and keep our pallet coming up level let's give that a go so coming up and then to the left that's pretty good so that was trying to do two things at once with this lever going down will be the same you're going to have to push forward on the right hand lever and curl to the right Okay, that all seems to work. Let's go and find something heavier to lift. One thing I've noticed in just doing that exercise is that the stick needs to be pretty well straight up and down, that if the stick's leaning forward then you run into a problem with hitting the top here on this oil drum. Let's just take a minute and talk about how much weight that these mini diggers can actually lift. So my digger is a UME 12 and the operating weight for that is 1200 kilograms. Now just in front of the blade in the central position here, if the boom is straight up and the stick is straight down, then theoretically we should be able to lift 20% of the operating weight. So at this point we should be able to lift 240 kilograms in weight. Now with the boom fully extended and the stick fully extended, out at this point here, we drop down to 10% of the operating weight, which means that we really should only be lifting 120 kilograms right at the end out here. And that's why on this model, it actually has written here the safe working limit of 120 kilograms. But I actually think that these mini diggers can actually lift a bit more so let's have a bit of a test i have my ibc tote container here and these things hold a thousand liters of liquid which is equivalent to about a thousand kilograms and on the side here it's got markings for each hundred liters and what i'm going to do is i'm going to fill it up to about 300 liters which is the equivalent of 300 kilograms and see if our mini digger will lift it. I'm actually glad I'm putting some water in this thing. It looks like there's lots of Greebly's living down the bottom, so it'll give me a chance to rinse it out. Just going to pull forward, get the arms in the right place. About there. I'm actually going to put the blade down to give me some front support as well. Come up on the revs a little bit. And let's see if we can lift it up. Just 
just gets the back off the ground. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some water out and re reduce it down a bit and come down to maybe 250, 200 kilos, see what happens then. She will be so happy. Okay, so we'll go again, a bit more throttle. Okay, and it lifts it off the ground, so. Well, I think what that test showed was that I think the limit for how much my particular digger can lift is about 250 kilos with these forks. And if you look at it side on, you can see that the arms actually extend out a long way from this vertical stick. I think if you were trying to lift something closer into the blade area and lifting it from the main boom that you would probably lift quite a bit more but because the arms are so long and it is out the front I think the limit that I would feel happy with would be about 250 kilos. So in summary I like the arms, I like the simplicity of the design, I like the fact that it's in three pieces so you can store it away, you can take these arms off and put it on a shelf somewhere and you're not having to trip over them all the time in the workshop. I was a bit worried that the design itself was too simple when I looked at those photos on the internet but I'm thinking now that really if you're limited to lifting only about 250 kilos then probably this design is just about spot on. The only thing I found that I wasn't quite happy with was this flat edge on the front. A few times I did actually find that I was getting stuck trying to get under the pallets here so I would possibly modify that and Put a bit of an angle on the front but everything else i think was pretty well spot on and i was talking with alex from uhi machinery where these forks came from and i was mentioning the fact that we're wrapping this video up and he's offered to give a special deal for viewers of the channel so if you ring alex and i'll put the telephone numbers in the description below you can ring up and these normally retail this set of forks for about $500. He has offered to give viewers of the Tree Change Farmer video channel a $100 discount if you mention the fact that you saw them on the video and you saw Dave with his digger running around with the pallet forks on. So if you're in the market, and I would imagine this is probably only for Australian viewers, that you can ring up and ask about getting a discount on these pallet forks. So I think that about wraps it up. I'm really happy with them. I think if you've got a mini digger then they will certainly come in handy for moving lots of equipment around. I mean there's always those times when something will turn up on a pallet that's on a truck or on a trailer and it's a real pain to get it off. So I think something like this that's quick and easy to put on would fit the bill perfectly. Anyway, thanks for watching. Appreciate your support and we'll see you next time.